action. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. We got the Evo WRX right here. In the last video we got the headlight brackets made and we gotta make a few more things to make the headlights perfect. But can't do that till the fenders are on. Or at least cut to where we know where they're gonna be. Because right now I tried to put the fender on and the headlight's sagging a little bit down. You can see, well this isn't on top of the bumper yet, but normally it has to sit like this and then this headlight, I put it over and there's still kind of a gap. And uh, it could be from just where the headlights are sitting, it could be needing to trim out the course board more, or it could be because this part of the fender, right here where it's sticking all out, is touching the door right here. Oh! And it's uh, making the fender go out like however long this is. So what I'm gonna do right now, you can see I sharpened it up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these very expensive aluminum OEM Evo fenders and uh, see if I can get the feminine a little bit better, so. Got the fender cut up, no more metal shooting that way, so when we put this on, Well, I can see, I didn't show you guys before, but it fits a lot better than it did just from having this back session cut off. And you can see it's still pushing out from the bottom. So I'm gonna trim a little bit more. And all that down there is gonna be Subi Fender. But you can see how much I cut off is still overlapping the door. And also up here, there's about like an inch gap. So I have to move everything in. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna do that, but we'll figure it out. Also up here, it's sitting a lot higher because on the Evo, the hood obviously sits flush. So I'm gonna have to cut off these brackets down here uh, just so I can get that to sit farther down and see exactly where I'm going. Because that inch might be, be because this is lifted up right here and it could go down and over. But let's trim a little bit more and let's see what we can get to. All right, fully trimmed out. I trimmed uh, the inside right here too because I was hitting that little top pinch weld or whatever you want to call it. it looks like a pinch weld but it fits a lot better now no more inch gap right here obviously it's not bolted up at all but fitment's gonna be really good i trimmed all this too and uh i have to trim more obviously to put the subaru fender up next to it but i think it looks way better we had a problem with the headlight and i guess where we put the bolt hole for this one right here um was like a half inch to the right uh, and the whole bumper was to the right a little bit too and we didn't know that but now we do because the fender's up next to it and uh, that fitment is going to be a lot better uh, this side evar cut up and you can see the lines a little bit straighter but um, we mess around with the bolt holes for the headlights and they both sit literally perfect now we threw the front lip on there too and it just looks phenomenal like look at that for the evo fender i'm going to go from right here cut it straight down i'm going to delete this little corner light right here come all the way down and then angle it right there so i have the side skirt placement from the wrx so we're doing a little construction to the shop right now we got the flags hung up got the ets hks and the nismo flags gonna come up and it's got to go at an angle but it's still gonna be cool so i like it what do you guys think beautiful yeah when it goes across the whole thing then we don't have to see these junkers i'm just kidding so we're gonna get along to cutting the Subaru fender now. The first Subaru fender we shall cut is this one, the driver's side with the dent. So we're gonna cut this up, make sure it matches up, bolt it in, get down to business. So we got both the fenders trimmed up and look at that. Ivar did a little bit of pounding to take away this body line, but check this out. The body line from the WRX fender goes almost perfectly to the Evo fender. I mean, look at that. Not much more you can ask for on a front end conversion. Then we have the arch trimmed a little bit and that's going good too, but wow, that looks amazing. Now it's just time to weld it up, do some body work and it'll be really, really clean. So it's been a day and we actually epoxied the inside of this kind of like panel bond and uh, it looks amazing. It's completely solid now. You've just drilled out the rivet so there's literally nothing 
uh, besides the epoxy holding it together. But got the G50Z in the shop. This thing's going under retirement. There's so many things wrong with it, um, body wise. Yeah, you can see there's cracks all over everything. Got Tristan, I think, trying to get into the shop right now. What are you doing? Dude, you can get in. You can get in. I got the G50Z in here. You can get this baby in here. It's nothing. You can get it. Don't. He's trying to move the wheels. <laughs> come on, get, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right, hold what you got. So the G50Z is officially on jack stands. Check the Brembo's out. Taking off the wheels right now because they're officially, hopefully, being sold tomorrow. If not then uh, we'll post them up off the car and clean them up and sell them for more than the guy that's picking them up tomorrow is for. Um, but the reason we're taking these off, as you guys know, we're doing bigger flares on the G50Z and me and Dylan are gonna be matching wheels for the G70 and the G50Z. I'm not gonna tell you what wheels we're getting so far, but it's gonna be no sick. We're and we're gonna get them built to spec so they fit perfectly on both of our cars with no spacer or anything. Um, I might have to run a little spacer for the Brembos, but still gonna get them perfectly built i mean we can probably find because those wheels were both mid disc we can probably find the wheels we want with like a mid disc and then a high disc exactly so that we could clear because both of our cars have big brakes on them but other than that the evo wrx is looking really good fender on that's looking promising and if you guys saw last video turbo got stolen the new turbo is here looks a little bit different than my other one but i guess they updated the housing and um i mean look at it way bigger than the stock turbos this is a tdo6 and this is a tdo4 nothing was really wrong with this turbo besides some broken studs as you can see we tried to take it off and it didn't work so that's why we went with the big dog and this thing will be sitting inside of the evo wrx just like that the wheels are officially gone from the g50z i'm kind of sad but i mean i'm off to bigger and better wheels and uh, you can just see bondo's cracking everywhere on this thing it's honestly sad, but that's what happens. I did most of the body work myself. I actually, I did all the body work on this car myself. And I think the next time I go around, after I get bigger flares for this thing, I'm definitely gonna have Evar do all the body work so it turns out perfect. So I have decided on the Evo WRX that I'm actually gonna do stock body. So instead of me doing flares um, to the front and rear, I went from wanting to do just flares in the rear and now I kind of just want to do stock body. When I did have the front body lined up, it kind of looked like the Evo fenders are a lot wider than the rear. But um, they definitely are wider, but not enough for me to do flares. And I'm not going to put on some baby flares in the back when I could just put on a spacer in the front. So you can see with the wheels squared, the front, I mean, you can't really tell. But the front's barely wider than the rear. So if I can, I'm going to go stock body, not have to deal with flares and a bunch of body work on top of this, like this thing and have to worry about Bondo cracking and stuff like this, because this thing will be a daily monster. I'm going to drive this thing every single day until it blows up or something. But from the way things are going, this thing does have a lower mile engine. If you guys remember me talking about when I first bought this thing, 70,000 miles on the engine. But the WRX transmissions are junk. I'm sure if anybody has a WRX or has a friend that has a WRX this old, the transmission probably has some problems. But thankfully, this one's mint right now. Um, and with the new turbo that I'm putting on, uh, if I want to up the boost, one, I need 1,000cc injectors, which I'm only doing STI injectors right now. So this thing's going to be running on maximum low boost. So stock body is definitely going to be the move with this build. Um, it's going to be the only front end swap car that we have that has a stock body. This thing has flares, the broken spaceship. This is a G37 sedan with the coupe G37 front end IPL. This is, has, is gonna have wide body, it has it in the front. It's not done yet. That's pretty much it for today's video. We're gonna, I got the water lines all on the new turbo. So I'm gonna pop this on and the oil feed tomorrow. That'll be a new video and get this um, turbo inlet all in there. This should be good as soon as the, that's in, we can, put the Walbro 255 in and the STI injectors, and then we can get this thing tuned. Wish me luck, peace out guys, and uh, you should be good.